In this part of the tutorial to create a breakout game, we create the main class our game. So we create a breakout class. In the breakout constructor, we init the user interface. We create the, unit, the init user interface method. We add the board to the gframe because the, the breakout class extends the gframe class of the swing API. We set a title for the breakout game. We set the dimensions of the window. Dimensions have been defined in the util class during the first part of the tutorial. We call the set visible method with the true value in parameter to display the breakout frame on the screen. In the main method, we launch the game by making it visible. Now it's time to test our breakout game. We can click on the run button to launch our game as a Java application. Okay. It seems there is a little bug. No bricks are displayed, but the game over message is well displayed. We'll try to fix this bug in the next part of the tutorial.